Hello everyone, I'm Polly and today I'm still working on the city side of uh, the island. This is probably the last video on this side of the island for a while. Uh, I still have some areas that I haven't touched yet, but I... I just want to start working on the rural side for now because I honestly don't know if I just do like transition areas on the little spaces that I haven't decorated yet or if I do something else. It's on the, the side that I haven't decided yet if I'm blocking or not. On that side, there's a lot of empty space and if I had like an idea to for a build, I could definitely fit one on that area. So we'll see if I come up with something to do there. If not, it's just going to be a transition area. I'm not too worried about it, but I really want to start working on the rural side because that will that will also help me. Uh, decide if I have space to do something else in the city side or if there's just no space and I need to utilize that space for the rural side. You know, um, today I'm building a school behind the little cutie <laughs> street that I worked on last week a and next to it there's going to be my house to be honest guys, I forgot about my house when I was sort of planning this island like I didn't plan a build for my house and I was thinking that I could decorate it like it, it could be like many things inside like builds that I wasn't able to incorporate on other areas of the city like I really want to have I really want to have like a karaoke bar and maybe a sushi restaurant and other builds like that and from the outside it looks sort of sort of like a temple i'm sorry i can't articulate my words today um but you know i'm usually super realistic with my builds like what's on the exterior is what's on the interior but you know what that doesn't necessarily have to happen so i'm not opposed to the idea of doing something fun inside of my house and using most of the rooms in it because if i were to decorate it like more like a temple i would probably not use most of the rooms you know and i really want to use all of the rooms i'm not decorating the house today as you can imagine because i still haven't decided on what i'm going to do inside but i decorated the exterior and i think it looks pretty uh i don't know if it makes a lot of sense being next to school honestly but i didn't know where else i could put my house so it's just going to be there you know besides decorating this area like the transition between the street that we worked on last week and this area i i honestly didn't work on it that much i am i'm still debating on what how to decorate it basically you know but um uh yeah besides the, the street behind the street that we worked on last week i'm also going to decorate a little bit on the front side of the island again uh behind and to the left of uh, Chester's Ramen restaurant, uh, there it's not decorated. I mean, now it's decorated because I'm decorating it in this video, <laughs> but it wasn't decorated yet. And uh, this week was actually super hard for me to find motivation to work on not only this island, but my Let's Play island as well. I don't know, I'm just tired, you know? And uh, I use a lot of brain capacity to work on my islands. So, and I, I literally was getting none. Um, but I ended up finding some energy, some motivation to work on the islands because it's, I can't really say it's a lack of motivation because I really want to work on my islands. Like I have so many ideas that 
Again, it's hard for me to stop sometimes because I'm having so much fun. I really want my vision to come to life. But I had no energy. It's like my brain was shut down for some reason. But I'm getting better. <laughs> um, and I was able to do all of this, you know. But when I was working on this street and I, when I finished this area, I was like, maybe, maybe I could leave the front of the island for another day. You know, but I said, no, I'm going to do it because I just have to have it done. And the video would be super short if I didn't work on that area. So, you know, it would only make sense to work on it. And then I could start working finally on the rural side, which I'm super excited for. It's going to be extremely different from the city side. And, um, you know, I love the city side, but sometimes when you're doing the same thing over and over again, even though it's like different aesthetics and all that, it starts to become harder and harder. Oh, also, there was a double rainbow on this day. <laughs> so pretty. You can't really see it that much, but, you know, whatever. Um, but I really want to start working on a different aesthetic to freshen up my ideas, my brain. Maybe not do maybe doing the same thing kind of over and over again was also one of the reasons that I wasn't feeling too inspired to work on my islands. I don't know. Um, that art design, I also designed it and I don't have the codes for my designs yet I I definitely have to work on it um, I don't know if I'm going to have the subway designs on this island to be honest I may uh, keep them like I may um, create a code for them but I'm not sure because I didn't include any other subway entrances on the city side because I kind of forgot about it. Um, and maybe I'll include it somewhere where I feel like I can fit it. I don't know. But um, yeah. Uh, this side, I just, you know, extended what I had. I didn't really know what to do with the Able Sisters, so I just put it there. I know it's kind of looks like a little island in the middle of the, the street. But... You know, I didn't really know where to put it. I didn't really want to make it look like inserted on a building. So I'm just going to leave it there. It's also in the transitional area between the darker part of the city and the lighter part of the city. So, you know, I'm not too opposed. Like, I, I don't really mind it be <laughs> looking like that. Uh, I uh, This area is kind of, you know, it's going to connect to the beach, but I, I'm not decorating the beaches today because I have houses on the beaches and I was not about to uh, move things around just to, you know, have being able to decorate the beaches you know and i'm still not sure what i'm going to do on the beaches i'm still not sure how i'm going to decorate the peninsula especially it's on an awkward space i never think about peninsulas on my island some people really take that in account when they're building their islands or choosing a map i never really think about it to be quite honest with you Maybe I should start thinking about it. I don't know, because now I don't know what to do there. Maybe I'll block off that area. I'm not sure yet. I'll think about it in the future. But this is like the um, entrance to the beach. It's going to be like an entrance to the beach. It's going to... Uh, on this side that I'm working right now, it's going to have like the same vibe as the museum. On the other side, where the road leads to the beach, you know, it's going to be a little bit more like a leisure beach, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, I 
I didn't really go in too deep like I decorated the grass area but I definitely will leave this beach accessible which is something rare at this point for me my last island I blocked off most of the beaches and it's not like I don't like the beaches they just don't work on my plans most times you know but I want to include the beaches as much as possible on this island um, and yeah here's the final result I really like it even though the Able Sisters is kind of floating in the middle of nothing I may add more decoration so it doesn't look like it but I really like how this area turned out it's honestly looking like I wanted it to look which is like so great to see uh, I really like the school and uh, yeah thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and if you did don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you can also become a member of the channel if you want to further support me thank you so so much for being here today and i hope to see you next time bye